Anyone who has tried out VR glasses knows VR and racing games are a match made in heaven. Racers benefit greatly from the better overview and the ability to look into the apex of any corner. However, VR is still a growing technology and therefore faces a lot of issues like low resolution and performance problems. Today, we are going to tackle just that and show you how to get the most out of your VR headset. Before we dive into the different games and their respective settings, let's talk about hardware first. There are many great options out there for you to choose from, no matter the size of your wallet. If you can afford it, the Valve Index might be the best headset on the market today. It features two 1440 by 1600 pixel LCD displays, a refresh rate of up to 144Hz, and the best audio solution of all VR headsets. If you can get your hands on one of those, we absolutely recommend you do so. But be aware that the Index will probably cost you over a thousand euros. If you are planning on only playing racing titles on your headset, the newly released HP Reverb G2 may be your weapon of choice. It features the same graphical fidelity as the Index, but comes with a lower price tag. For roughly 700 euros, this Windows Mixed Reality headset features everything you need for a great driving experience. The controllers are the biggest weak point of this headset, which luckily for us are not needed in sim racing at all, as we use our wheel and pedals instead. If money is a big problem for you and you want to experience VR on the cheap, the Oculus Rift S or Lenovo Explorer might be a good choice to get into VR. Just be aware that you will feel the difference in build quality and comfort when purchasing one of the lower tier headsets. But on the other hand, don't be afraid of choosing a cheaper option first, as those headsets can play any title the pricier ones can too. Hmm, which games are even good in VR? A crucial question, to which the answer is many. As stated at the beginning of this video, VR and racing games match really well. Most of the newer titles support VR, and most of them are also quite well optimised for it. Some examples are Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa Competizione, iRacing, Automobilista 2, and Project Cars 2. If you are a big Formula 1 fan, we have sad news for you, as F1 2020 does not support the technology. Really, Cody? Step up your game. But anyway, we are going to focus on Steam first, and then take a look at ACC and AMS2 afterwards, and how to improve your image quality drastically when playing in VR. So let's get started with Steam VR. Steam is probably already your central hub for all your video games, which makes the management of your VR titles that much easier. Start Steam VR, then head over to the settings menu. Here, you can find the super sampling option under the general tab. With this slider, you can increase the resolution of each eye of your headset. This will lead to greater load on your GPU, but will sharpen your image dramatically. Another nifty trick is to set the super sampling individually for each game. A title like iRacing or Assetto Corsa might not be that demanding on your system to begin with, which would allow you to go for a higher resolution here. On the other hand, you could be greeted by ACC with 20 FPS if this setting is too high. So, just select Video on the left and then choose Per Application Video Settings. Now you can choose from all installed games that support VR and change the super sampling to your heart's desire. Also, another critical setting in this menu is the motion smoothing. We recommend changing it to Force Always On, which will get rid of flickering shadows and blurred object edges, something you really don't want to have in both the games we are going to discuss now. Wow, this already looks much better. But can we go even further than that? Yes, we can. But we have to go deeper now into the settings of each individual game. To show you what's possible, we selected ACC and AMS2, as both games can be demanding on your GPU 
and also feature a lot of hidden settings that will improve your results. Let's start with Assetto Corsa Competizioni first. The game comes with three different presets for low, medium and high-end PCs. Even though the presets are not bad, a lot more can be done for the same performance. Here are three presets that we have put together so you can choose for yourself. Low settings are for older GPUs like the GTX 1060 or 1080. Medium for the newer ones like the 2070 RTX or 5700X from AMD. And if you already got your hands on one of the new generation of cards or have a 2080 Ti as your daily driver, the ultra settings might be possible for you. Here are the settings in comparison, so you can see how much the settings change the overall picture quality. Next up is Automobilista 2, which runs on the Madness engine that already had a positive reputation for VR usage in Project Cars 2. This hasn't changed in AMS 2, which looks absolutely stunning in VR. However, this title does not come with any presets at all, so go along with our preferred setting. We start in the menu Virtual Reality, where we are greeted by another super sampling option. The game resolution can be turned up further with this slider, but bear in mind that we have already manipulated AMS2's resolution in Steam, which could lead to performance problems later on. So here are our performance settings, which you are very welcome to copy and paste into your game. The important settings are the resolution. This will not change the shown resolution in your VR headset, but instead control the resolution on your main screen. Yes, Automobilista 2 is always putting out a normal video feed on your desktop, despite being run in VR mode, so change this to a lower setting if needed. MSAA, better known as anti-aliasing. This is a real hardware glutton. Keep this on medium or you'll probably experience many frame rate drops in rainy weather conditions. And shadow details, put them on low if you're running the game on a GTX 10 series graphics card. And finally, there are the visual settings. Here, you can copy our choices as well. But to be honest with you guys, these are almost all up to personal preference. Only the sun flare options can cost you some GPU power. So keep that in mind when adjusting those. And there you have it, ACC and AMS2 fully optimised for your VR experience. Everything is set for truly immersive racing thanks to some tiny little tricks. How do you improve your VR settings? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, if you liked this content, check out our latest modding tutorial on Assetto Corsa to get dynamic weather effects. For more esports racing content in general, visit overtake.gg or our YouTube and other social channels. Thanks for having me, and until next time, cheers.